Macaulay Honors College at the City University of New York has selected WordPress as our electronic portfolio platform. This choice has given us many advantages, and not the least of these has been the opportunity to reimagine what an ePortfolio really can be, to watch as our students explore new directions and forge new paths. Beyond the idea of a filing cabinet full of folders or a box in the basement, we've been able to see the ePortfolios as something more akin to a cabinet of curiosities, the ever-growing collection of signs, wonders, curios, souvenirs, that an ed educated person collects as she travels, explores, and grows. Beyond that, we've been able to see the electronic portfolios as something like the Museum of Me, a place where students can guide others through the artifacts of their learning, reflect on them, invite others to join in that reflection, and even sit by themselves and think about where they've been, where they are, and where they're going. Now, as a public institution, we have some limitations in terms of resources. For one thing, we don't have a vault full of cash to spend on any ePortfolio platform. WordPress has been a good advantage to us in this area because it is, of course, free and open source without the necessity for an investment of a large amount of financial resources. In addition, we don't have a huge staff of programmers chained to their typewriters working for us all the time. But with WordPress, what we do have is the entire open source community, which importantly is not chained, but free to innovate to explore, to expand, and to create what needs to be done for us as an educational institution. We want our electronic portfolios to be transportable. Students don't stay with us in the college for very long, and we want them to be able to continue the process of collecting, reflecting, presenting, and growing and learning once they leave us. We also need something flexible. Our students have many different uh, majors, many different courses of education, and WordPress allows us that flexibility. As part of this flexibility, we want to be able to support students in deciding what type of site they will create and give them the opportunity to create multiple sites. So we give them the choice of how to begin, but that choice is not permanent. They can always adapt, they can always create a new choice. Each theme that uh, we have designated as a good starting place is no more than that, a starting place. Now, students need sometimes to keep some of their work private, but they don't need to keep all of their work private, and they do need to have control over that decision themselves, to take the ownership of what is going to be shared and what is not going to be shared and with whom it will be shared. And WordPress allows students to make that decision in a very fine-grained way, so that it's not something that we have to completely close or completely open, but we can let students decide and think about and make good choices about what should be open and what should be closed. Now, as a college, as a public institution, assessment is, of course, a necessity for us. And thanks to the community of WordPress plugin developers, we have the ability to assess what's going on with our ePortfolio platform from week to week, from day to day, or over even a longer period of time. Some examples of what our students and classes have done with, with the WordPress platform follow. Students can use a class ePortfolio, not an individual electronic portfolio, but one that's designed for a class from semester to semester as the group of students grows and as the years go by, the site does not have to close down as it does in a traditional learning management system. So in this way, students can hold the government accountable for the environment, but when the semester that they're taking an environmental justice course ends, they're not limited, they're not finished, they can go forward and they can continue to solicit and receive public comment, public engagement with the subjects that they're learning. WordPress also works for us as the platform for a fully online course where students can keep some material private, assignments, grades, and others can be public to solicit the attention, the engagement with a wider educational universe. Some students like to use WordPress for a traditional artist portfolio, but again, because of the flexibility of the system, they're able to choose a design that suits them, that meets their own aesthetic needs, their own uh, ideas about where their work is going, and present that to multiple audiences. They can use specific photographs of their works to include a representation of work that is perhaps uh, more difficult to communicate in text, 
For work that is more text-based, WordPress allows students to include reflective, personal, even whimsical ideas about what they're doing, how they're learning. In addition to just the assignments for class, their own ideas about those assignments, their own criticism of those assignments, pushing them to take more ownership of their goals and their directions. Some students use the ePortfolios specifically for a travel project, and because the system allows students to customize the look when they want to study typography in Japan, they can customize the typography of their site so that it becomes a reflection not just of what they're thinking and what they're learning, but what they're seeing and what they're observing as artists or typographers. WordPress allows students who are doing more traditional academic assignments, like a senior thesis, to share the resources they're developing and collecting and make their finished product something that can have a wider impact than just the student and the instructor. Some students take a more personal approach to their electronic portfolios, using the opportunity to comment on issues that are important to them and possibly controversial, and to enter the larger sphere of discussion about those issues, while still keeping control of what they make private, what they make public, and how their ideas are presented uh, and designed. Through the BuddyPress suite of plugins, WordPress has allowed us to give students the opportunity to form community across campuses. They can connect with other students who have similar academic interests or career goals or personal profiles. They can form groups. They can begin to integrate the academic and the social or personal. We've recently been able to use this same system to create a site for newly admitted students to get them connected to our community Letting students have control of the ePortfolio system, letting students have the flexibility of design and content, and letting students connect with one another through this online publishing platform has really given us the chance to let them grow academically, to let them make conscious choices about their digital identities, and to make them and to allow them to be part of a wider community, not just here at the college, but in the entire online universe.